Hello, today we'll look at alloglyptin. Alloglyptin, this is the group of DPP4 inhibitors that we talk about in this series. We have then a VALS, that is the acronym that I use for Vildagliptin, Alloglyptin, Linagliptin, Saxagliptin and Sitagliptin. Today we're looking at alloglyptin and the trade name is for example Vipedia here or, or in the United States we can call it Nessina. So Vipedia or Nessina. I will use a Vipedia that we have in Europe. <clears throat> so uh, what dose do we have of alloglyptin? We have 25 milligram, 12.5 milligram and 6.25 milligram depending on the kidney insufficiency level. As we know from the DPP4 inhibitors, linagliptin is the one that we don't need to adjust the dose for. That is linagliptin. For others, we need to adjust. For example, if we have a GFR, so kidney function of, for example, more than 60 milliliter per minute, then we use the 25 milligram once daily in the morning, regardless of uh, the meal. So you don't need to uh, <clears throat> time it with a meal or not. As we know, metformin, we need to time it during the meal or after a meal. But here in DPP4 inhibitors, it's not so important. And 60 milli milliliter per minute, above that, you can give them 25 milligram once daily. Otherwise, 30 to 60, we usually give 12.5 milligram. And if it's less than 30 milliliter per minute, then please give the 6.25 milligram instead. So you, you adjusted the dose. <clears throat> and as we know, we have alloglyptin can be combined with uh, uh, other medications like metformin, then we call it Vipdomet, for example, that will be dealt in another video. So Vipedia is the single alloglyptin, Vipdomet is the brother, a big brother, where we have a combination of metformin with alloglyptin, then we have Vipdomet, and then we have Incresync when we combine alloglyptin together with a pioglitazone. Pioglitazone belongs to the group of tiazolidindiones. So we have then a DPP-4 inhibitor with the tiazolidindiones. And please check the video where I talk about DPP-4 inhibitors in general, and then you will understand uh, what I'm talking about, what type of group of medication we're talking about, because I cannot repeat the function and the mechanism of all the medications separately. Therefore, I made uh, a, a bigger uh, presentation about only DPP-4 inhibitors as a group. Good, what do we need to know more about uh, this uh, Vipedia. As we know with other uh, medications that we, uh, that we cannot combine it with is DPP-4, so don't give another DPP-4 and don't give a GLP-1 agonist. This has no additive effect, it's no, no uh, reason to do that. Side effects, which side effects are, are we having here with uh, Vipedia? We have for example headache, we can have any type of nasopharyngitis, or upper respiratory tract infection, or acute pancreatitis, or increased liver enzymes, or reduced kidney function, or we can have, for example, any type of arthalgia, so joint pain, and skin reactions like pruritus, so reddening of the skin. These are just some side effects that we can see. What contraindications do we have? So when are we not allowed to give Vipedia? For example, type 1 diabetes patients, please don't give it to type 1 diabetes patients. Don't give it in ketoacidotic patient. Also, please don't give it when you have uh, any type of uh, heart uh, insufficiency or liver insufficiency or acute pancreatitis. These are the main contraindications of Vipedia. So I think this will be enough. So please check, uh, check the video about DPP-4 inhibitors and then you will be able to find out more about this group of medication. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.